Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Right now, we are going to solve decision motors na merong relationship yung back EMF or counter EMF dun sa speed ng motor and at the same time yung relationship din or epekto nung pagbabago ng flux doon sa magiging speed ng motor. So we have here, at rated load, a shunt motor draws an armature current of 50 amperes from a 230 volt DC mains while running at 1000 RPM. At no load, the armature current drops to 5 amperes. If the effect of the armature reaction has weakened the flux by 2% from no load to full load, determine the speed of the motor at no load. So ito yung dinedetermine natin, yung speed ng motor during no load. Assume the armature resistance to be 0.15 ohm. So meron tayong dalawang condition dito. That is at uh, full load and yung isa naman, yung sa no load. Ang ating motor ay nakakonect dun sa 230 volts na DC source. So that is our terminal voltage. And during full load, ang armature current natin, that is 50 amperes. Lagyan natin dito, IA during full load is equal to 50 amperes. While during no load, yung armature current naman natin ay 5 amperes. So IA at no load, 5 amperes. The speed during full load is equivalent to 1,000 RPM. Ang unknown natin dito, yung speed during the no load, meron din siyang tinukoy about the effect of the armature reaction doon sa flux natin. Sabi po dito, the flux is weakened by 2% from no load to full load. Meaning, kung ito yung original value ng flux natin during no load, magbabago siya pagdating natin dito sa full load since it is going to be weakened by 2%. So, ibig sabihin, 100% yung original dito sa no load minus 2%, that will give us 98% of the flux during no load. Or this is simply 0.98 at flux during no load. Para makuha natin yung value ng speed during no load, kunin natin yung back EMF during full load and no load. Ang value ng armature resistance is 0.15 ohm. Then, nandito yung armature current and ito yung positive, negative, positive, negative ng armature resistance and brushes natin with respect to the direction of our armature current. In order to determine the value of the back EMF, mag-establish tayo dito ng isang loop Let's say that this is loop number 1, KVL at loop 1, umpisa tayo dito sa terminal voltage, we have positive 230 volts, then minus IA times RA, minus IA times RA which is 0.15 ohm, minus the back EMF equal to 0. Ang hinahanap natin na value, that is the back EMF, transpose natin to sa kabila, magiging positive yan. Therefore, EB is equal to 230 volts minus IA times 0.15 ohm. Ito yung magiging equation natin in determining the back EMF. During full load, EB at full load equals 230 volts at ang value ng ating armature current that is 50 amperes multiply this by 0.15 ohm this will give us 222.5 now let's determine the value of the counter EMF or back EMF during no load. EB and L 
equals 230 volts minus yung armature current during that time is 5 amperes. Multiply this by 0 0.15 ohm. And this will give us 229.25 volts. Para makuha natin yung value ng no load speed, tignan muna natin yung relationship ng counter EMF or back EMF, EB, doon sa speed. Gaya ng formula na ginagamit natin sa generated EMF, although this time, back EMF ang kukunin natin, we have the number of poles, multiply that by the speed, the number of conductors times the flux, divide this by 60 a. Constant yung value ng number of poles, yung number of conductors, and yung parallel paths natin. Meaning, EB is equal to the constant values multiplied that by the speed and flux. Ngayon puntahan natin yung relationship ng full load doon sa no load. We have the back EMF at full load. Divide that by the back EMF at no load equal to so dito meron tayong speed during the full load multiply that by the flux during full load divide that by speed during no load and flux during no load cross multiply natin dito ang hinahanap natin it's the no load speed so no load speed equals Ito, pupunta dun sa taas, kaya magiging NFL flux during full load, multiply that by the back EMF during no load, divide this by, bababa ito, so we have the back EMF during full load, multiply that by the flux during no load. So, substitute natin yung mga values dito. We have the Full load speed, that is 1,000 RPM. Yung relationship ng flux during full load and during no load, nandito yan, that is 0 0.98. So this is 0 0.98 multiply this by the flux during no load. Multiply natin ito ng no load back EMF, which is 2 to 9. 0.25 volts divide this by back EMF during full load is 222 or 222.5 volts multiply this by flux during no load so cancel out dito therefore ang no load speed natin will give us or this could be rounded off to 2 so ito na yung magiging sagot natin dyan we have a similar problem here a 120-volt shunt motor has an armature current of 20 amperes and runs at 1,500 RPM at rated load. At no load, the armature current drops to 2 amperes. If the effect of the armature reaction has weakened the flux by 1.5% from no load to full load, determine the speed of the motor at no load. Assume the armature resistance to be 0 0.2 ohm. So 0. 2 ohm dito sa armature resistance, yung ating terminal voltage, positive, negative, that is 120 volts. So, nandito yung back EMF and ito yung direction ng ating armature current. So, based from the direction of the armature current, nandito yung positive, negative ng ating armature resistance and yung ating mga brushes. Again, meron tayong dalawang condition. We have the full load and also the no load. Yung armature current during full load, we have 20 amperes. Then, 
yung armature current during no load that is 2 amperes. Yung speed during full load that is 1,500 RPM. And then may tinukoy siya ulit about the flux that has been weakened by 1.5% from no load. So yung no load natin dito, yung flux, pagdating natin dito sa full load, 100% minus 1.5, that will give us 98.5% of the flux during no load or this is 0 0.985 multiply that by the flux at no load again to determine the back EMF mag-establish po tayo dito ng Kirchhoff's voltage law at loop number 1 KVL at loop number 1 we have there positive 120 volts punta tayo dito sa armature resistance negative IA times 0 0.2 minus IA times 0 0.2 ohm then minus the back EMF equal to 0 again transpose natin to sa kabila magiging positive po yan EB therefore is equal to 120 volts minus IA times 0 0.2 Ohm. Kunin ngayon natin yung back EMF during full load and during no load. At full load, the back EMF is 120 volts minus yung armature current natin during that time is 20 amperes. Multiply this by 0 0.2 ohm. Therefore, back EMF during full load this is equivalent to 116 volts next kunin natin yung back EMF at no load that is still using this equation 120 volts minus the armature current is 2 amperes Multiply this by 0 0.2 ohm. This is 119.6 volts. Using yung relationship na ginamit din natin kanina, the EB is equal to yung constant, multiply that by the speed and then the flux. Kunin natin yung relationship ng full load sa kayong sa no load we have eb during full load divided by the eb during no load equals the speed during full load multiply that by the flux during full load divide that by the speed at no load and flux at no load cross multiply tayo dito we have there the speed during the no load equals the full load speed multiplied that by the flux at full load and then yung counter EMF or back EMF during no load divide this by the back EMF at full load multiply that by flux during no load. Substitute natin. Equals. Yung full load speed natin, that is 1,500 RPM. Then yung relationship ng full load flux, dun sa no load flux, nandito po yan. 0 0.985 flux during the no load. Multiply this by yung back EMF during no load that is 119.6. Divide natin ito ng 116 volts 
multiply that by the flux during the no load cancel out ulit therefore the no load speed will give us 1523.353 rpm 